Hello there. Following this, there will be a couple of clips taken from Country File, the 9th of September 2018, when the team visited Deb and Janine uh, to talk about their business. So here we go. Enjoy. The coastline of Essex is one of the longest in England, all 350 miles of it. And there's plenty more going on beside this seaside than sandcastles and seagulls. Today, I'll be hearing how tough old timber has traveled halfway around the world to the UK from the tropics and is being upcycled and repurposed to find new life here in the landscape. Today, we are in Essex, and I'm starting my trip at the seaside on Southend's glorious pier. Stretching for 1.34 miles, this is the longest pleasure pier in the world. In fact, it's so long, it's got its own train. That'll save my legs. All aboard. Opened in 1830, visitors in their thousands have flocked here for the fresh sea air. But the old pier has had its fair share of ups and downs. The force of the sea has taken its toll, and as a listed structure, the pier needs to be kept in tip-top condition. So today it's being checked for rotten timbers. Gary Strickland is the pier project manager. Oh, wow. He's examining the areas most people can't see, the massive old timbers that support the walkway above. How old is this piece of wood under here, do we know? Um, the top section's about 18 years old and the bottom about 1912, so oh, goodness over me. 100 years old. And you're going into the wood there, yeah? I'm going into the, uh, the old section of wood. Uh, the general idea is to get a, a feel for how tough it is. And how does that feel? That feels pretty good. You can see the, um, the colouring's quite good. When it's rotten, it tends to be more black and dark brown. It's reassuring to know the old timbers down here are still so strong, but the ones up above us haven't lasted so well. Gary and the team need to replace these massive fenders, a tricky job at this exposed end of the pier. Ooh, picking up, isn't it? The team are using Greenheart's wood. It's incredibly heavy. How much does that weigh? About 500 kilos. Oof. Massively solid, and extremely durable. That incredibly heavy piece of wood will stay there for maybe the next 100 years. It will outlive most of us. The team patching up the pier pride themselves on their green credentials. You may think conserving a listed structure with locally sourced materials is a tough ask. Well, not here in Essex. One local couple have made it their mission to make ancient hardwood good again. Janine and Deb Davis-Tutt run Ashwell's Timber. They salvage old hardwood from our sea defences and piers so it can be reused. Why are you recycling all this hardwood, Janine? Well, if we weren't taking it in, um, it, most of this would end up in landfill. It's a, a beautiful, natural, reusable resource, but it, it's tragic that it's not being reused more often elsewhere. But why use this old wood? Um, why not just import some new stuff? Well, that's the problem. The, the new stuff is dwindling greatly. Um, countries are now stopping exportation of their timber, you know, to preserve our rainforests. We need to keep as many rainforest trees standing without being cut down to be reused when we've got this wonderful timber already in the UK. It's incredible. I'm just in my mm. mind, I've got the... It's the Timber Appreciation Society oh, here, isn't it? Definitely. And, I mean, this is presumably great for the environment because there's only so much of this stuff that we exactly. can keep chopping down. Exactly. Last year we saved approximately 62 rainforest trees. How, this year... What do you mean you saved 62 rainforest trees? Well, because trees. we've used that much timber, reused that much timber. Uh, this year we're already up to about 130 trees. This place is fascinating. Each piece is evidence of Britain's overseas trading history. Every piece of wood has a story, so what's this one? Well, this is Basilarochus from French Guiana. So it's going to be at least 150 years old when it was felled, and it would have been in the River Thames for the last 50, 60 years. 
it's just a they're getting a bit wobbly. It's a hard-working migrant piece of wood. Yes, it's been around <laughs> for a while. Not all the old wood looks so healthy. Wow, Janine, what is this piece of wood? This is a piece of beautiful green heart timber. It would have come from British Guyana, so it only been about 100 years old when it was cut down. Um, it would have been in the sea in the Southampton Portsmouth area for about 50 years. It is beautiful to look at, but that has had it, surely. Come on, look it at the sea. It looks a bit rough, but uh, just beneath the surface, she's absolutely beautiful. I'm still not convinced there's life in this old log, but in the workshop, Janine performs her magic. It up. It's you. What a transformation. Yeah. I'm sorry I said you were good for nothing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. What a shame it would be to, for this to have gone to landfill. It spent 100 years growing. It was cut down by hand yeah. as part of the British colonies, yeah. and now it's going to get reused. As if old tropical timber that's travelled halfway around the world didn't tell enough of a story already, it's now getting a new tale to tell. Today, we're in Essex, and I've been seeing how decades-old tropical timber is being reclaimed and repurposed. With a bit of spit and polish, the salvaged timbers come up as good as new, with years of life ahead of them. What a transformation. Yeah. You know, it's not just massive bills like South End Pier that these titans of the timber world are used for. This is where the magic happens. Deb Davis Tuts is showing me some more of their amazing transformations. Just having a wander around, you can't help but really appreciate that the kind of texture and the colour, the patina is such a tactile, living, breathing thing. Absolutely. Obviously. And underneath that grey, boring exterior is the most vibrant tropical colours. I mean, you can see by the panel next to me. Why? What's this? So these are the natural colours. So green heart from Guyana, opepi from Africa, purple heart, another African timber. That's Jarrah from Australia, and then they go on. No way! Yeah, that's out there. I thought this had all been, like, ink-stained. That is a really beautiful thing. It's the colours of nature, yeah. but also the story of, sort of colonial Britain right there absolutely, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we're so passionate that it's such a beautiful product. Why wouldn't you want to reuse it? <laughs> 